Alright, so I was mistaken. We cannot go straight to the Limit Break quest. We have to do some missions for Bastoke in order to get to, I think, rank 4. Uh, we have to complete the Magicite quest in order to do our next Limit Break, which is at least rank 4. Because we need the key items from that quest, so we can't, our mission, and we can't get those until we get that mission completed, or at least onto that mission so we can trigger the cutscenes for the key items to be able to do the limit break, which kind of sucks. So, we just accepted our first quest, our mission for Bastoke, which is the Zurin report. Uh, I think we have to go rep report to uh, Sid, I almost called him Zed. And he's over in the Bastoke Metalworks, I believe it's called. So I'll see you once we get there. Alrighty, so I was mistaken. We don't go and talk to Sid. We have to go into Pulboro Mines, which is where we went the first time. Um, to the east side of... Uh, sorry. Wrong button. The east side, west side. I cannot even remember what direction it is. The west side of... Uh, Bast Oak Mines. If you have the map, you'll see it says they're in mines and it's circled. So you go on there, and I will show you where the guy is we have to talk to in just a sec. So the guy that we need to talk to is this Makarim. I think is how you pronounce it. Um, they'll give you a Zeran report, then you have to head to Naji over in the Metalworks, just outside the President's office and uh, you should get a cutscene. If you examine the Zern report, you'll get a slightly different cutscene, as far as I remember, but either way, you'll progress through the mission. So, all right, we are over here to Naji to get the cutscene. This should finish the mission real quick. I'll just skip this inside. So you can see the mission's completed. All right, so our next mission is a geological survey. Uh, this one, I believe, is the one we have to talk to Sid, because we have to get like a, a colored strip. I don't know if it's red or blue, but I know it needs to change to a different color. But in order to do that, we have to go to one of the geyser things over in Dangar Vladi. So, see you in one second once we get to uh, Sid. All right, we are here to talk to Sid. Get a small cutscene from him real quick. I'll talk to Rawbot, and then I think he'll bring over a tester. Or whatever it was that we have to get from this guy. Just have to go out. Alright. What do we get? So we get a blue acidity tester. And we have to go to Dangrafwadi and stand on a geyser and make it change to, if I'm not mistaken, red. And then all we have to do is come back here and talk to Sid. So I'll see you once we get to Dangrafwadi and I'll show you where the geyser is. Alright, we just got jumped up by the geyser. Right down there. As you can see, the little spout, spout right here. Just shoot you back up. Apparently it doesn't want to shoot me back up. That's weird. Maybe because it was already going when I jumped down. There we go. Alright, so it doesn't say in here that it changes, but if you go into key items in temporary, you'll see now you have a uh, red acidity tester instead of a blue. So now we just head back to, I think, Sid, and that might complete the mission. Alright, we are back here at Sid to turn in the mission quest thing, which will give us some cutscene, which I'm guessing... Uh, oh, that's Volker. Or, or Volker. I don't know how you pronounce his name. But we should have a cutscene here, which should finish the mission off. And then we have to do another one where you have to collect uh, four items, but I'll get to that in just a second once we get there to accept it. So you'll find these goblins uh, next to 
uh, what looks like a blue box. Um, pretty much around lots of the nations. Like, I think they have them in Juno, Bastok, Sandoria. I don't know if they have them in Nord. They have them in Windurst and maybe Urgen and maybe Adolin. I don't know about those last two. But the nations and in Juno, I know they have them. So you can open the box and there's different dials. So there's 10 points is for dial 1, which is materials. Uh, dial 2 is for food. 3 is medicine. 4 is sundries. Or sundries. 5 is also sundries, but the uh, last one, which is special, you can get some really good gear from these if you're lucky. Like, high level gear. What did we get? I don't know what that is. Square of Twill Damask. Okay, some type of cloth. I'll have to see what that sells for and what it's used for. But you can get some nice stuff from these. I think the one time I got something uh, very good that I used on my main character for probably quite a while. Alright, we are back to the uh, mission person. We're going to accept uh, Fetishism is the name of it the mission that gives us rank 2. So we have to get three uh, three pieces. Uh, one kid of fetish head, torso, arm, and leg. And uh, those are kind of expensive on, on the auction house right now. I think the body itself is like 30k. So since we have treasure hound, I'm going to go and farm them up. I don't know how long it'll take, I'm hoping not very long, but my expectations are probably going to be close to an hour. So, I will see you guys once I get those. Alright, we are back here to turn in the, uh, whatchamacallums, the fetish things. And we'll just turn these into this dude. Should complete the mission, and we should be ranked 2 after that. Yay! Rank 2! I cannot give you a new mission until you increase your rank points. Rank 2! Yeah! So we should probably be able to make rank 3 off of uh, this video at least. But I still gotta go and level up to level 60 also. So, I'll probably get rank 2 to rank 3 real quick, and then I'll go and level up to 60. Okay, so we're gonna accept the next mission here, the Crystal Arm. Uh, we have to go talk to Sid, and then we have to get a baited crystal, and uh, end up coming back to Sid and trade it to him. And then I think we talk to either Naji or Iyami, one of the, the two captain people. Talk to Sid in the metalworks, and we have he's going to tell us about the baited crystals. We have to go to one of the telepoints uh, near one of the crags of Mia, Hala, or Dem. I'm just gonna go to the one at Kansha Highlands, because that's the easiest one for me to get to. And I shall see you once we get the Faded Crystal. So there's this uh, NM over here, over in Kansha Highlands, and he's used for two things. Well, well one, of, one thing, pretty much. He's a lottery spawn, I know that. He's level, I think, 55 to 60. Or something. 55, 56. I forgot what his, level, what his level is. But he drops a rampaging horn, and it's one of the two items needed for um, a purple belt, which which is a quest you have to complete in order to get the purple belt. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna kill him real quick. And I shall see you in a second once we kill him. Alright, so that fight took about 10 minutes almost, maybe 7 minutes. He was tanky as hell! He used Mighty Strikes I think every 20% or 25%, something like that, of his HP. It's like, damn dude, you use Mighty Strikes enough? Luckily, uh, I had Molly Alley pot out, or else I probably would have been slaughtered. But I got the Raging Horn, I didn't get the Viking Shield, which has plus 12 attack on it. But right now, that's kind of irrelevant. Might, I might be able to kill him again later on. So the only other horn I need for the purple uh, purple belt quest is 
I think the one in Lafayette, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what the horn's name is, or I would just say that. Um, and I don't think this is the telepoint you need to go to. I think it's on the other side. But I'll see you in one second if this isn't it. Uh, I think I gotta trade a crystal to it, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, trade this. Yep, it's not this one. One second. Alright, so the thing that you have to actually trade it to is the teleport, uh, telepoint, which you would get the, uh, the thing where you can teleport to it, so the crystal from Mia, Hala, or Dem, and then you can just teleport there via the spell if you're a white mage. Alright, we are back here to Sid. We're gonna trade him the beta crystal. Right there. Alright, and then this should give us a key item if I'm not mistaken. Yep, and now I have to go talk to a Yomi, or Yami, however you pronounce your name, I don't know, as the characters in here don't talk. Alright, so we are over here at the cannonry in the northeast part of the metalworks. Right inside should be a Yami, or Yami, or however you pronounce her name. And this should be the end of this mission. Uh, wrong, wrong dialogue. She was talking about the trust magic, because you can get her later on. But you have to, uh, you have to complete, I think, rank 3 or something in order to have access to her, and then you have to complete another quest. But anyway, we completed that mission, and now we can go and do the next mission. So I'll see you once we get that one. Alright, we are back to the dude here again, and the Emissary is the next rank quest we have to complete. So, accept that, and we have to go to the President's office, back into the Metalworks again. A lot of running around with these things. Alright, we are here over to Naji, who's the person we have to talk to, and we'll get a cutscene. Let's so continue the um, mission. We have to then travel to either Sandoria and then Windurst, or Windurst and then Sandoria. Uh, the difference is, um, if you do Windurst first, you have to get an Aspir Dagger, uh, Aspir Dagger or Knife, I forget which one it's called, and you have to trade it to somebody, but if you go to Sandoria and to Windurst, you have to kill an Orc and then do a fight. Uh, on both of them you have to do the same fight, but other one you you have to kill something, but with the window storm you have to trade something and then kill something. So it's not fun. So I'm gonna do Sandoria to Winders. So I'll see you in a second. So we are in northern Sandoria in the consulate of Bastok. We have to talk to Baraka, I think is how you pronounce her name. And then you get a little cutscene here. And then there comes the lion. Hi lion. I just, I'll skip to the end of this. Once you finish with the cutscene with uh, Lion and Baraka there, let's go into this room in the back, talk to Halaku, or Hilaku, and then you get another cutscene, and then you have to go to the Ch Chate di Oragule. I'm probably butchering the name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so once you enter the chateau, Talk to this Halver guy, and then uh, you should be told to go and kill an orc. Uh, yeah, you have to infiltrate the Gelspile post northwest of Sandoria and kill Warchief Vatkit. I don't know how to, how they get these names, but it's cool. And uh, the reason why I got a Cypher of Halvir's Alter Ego is because I have the Rhapsody and White Key item, which is uh, the one you get from completing Rhapsodies of Benadiel, I believe. Yeah. I forget which one it was, but it's the last one we completed. Flames of Prayer. That's the one that gave us the increase to our Alter Ego capacity, so that we could summon uh, four of them instead of just three. So... Pretty nice. 
So we're over here in the orc uh, outpost, in Galsva outpost, to kill this war chief. We are at H7, so we came from down there, walked up this way, and all the way around, and apparently we just punched him twice and he died, so he's not very strong. I summoned trust just in case he was stronger than that, but he died in two hits, so yeah. It's probably like level 20 or 30 at most. So if you're level 50, he's nothing. Anyway, see you in one second once we uh, get to the next part of this mission. Over here in Buburimu Peninsula is another carnivorous, uh, ca cavernous, well, I always call it, uh, carnivorous. Uh, cavernous Mahir brings it to Abyssia, uh, Ottawa. So, Ottawa Chasm, but in Abyssia. So you just grab this, and then this way you could teleport to it later on. It gives you another teleport. Also, there's a survival guide at the outpost at the Buberimo Peninsula's, um, outpost. Couldn't find the word there for a second. We are back here in the Consulate of Bastok in Sandoria to talk to Halaku to complete this, uh, this leg of the mission. And we still have to go to Windurst and do that part. So that's half of the mission done right there. So I'll see you in one second once we get to Winders. We are over here in Bastok uh, Consulate in Winderst, uh, Port Winders. We are at F6 and we have to talk to Malek. Malek? I don't know how you pronounce her name. But you'll get a cutscene here and then she'll tell you to go talk to Kupipi in uh, Heaven's Tower. And then you have to continue this uh, like so, I'll finish this cutscene, and then I'll see you once we get to Kupipi in the Heaven's Tower. When you zone into Windurst Woods, or Windurst Walls, sorry, um, you'll get a cutscene, and I think this is a cutscene for Shantoto's Ascension, but I could be wrong. But, it's a pretty interesting little cutscene. Got the little tower guys running around. Kormoru and Yorinorn. Pretty cool little little tower guys. But yeah, this is uh, Shantoto's Ascension uh, mission line that you start here as soon as you enter. So I'll see you in a second. We got over here to the uh, Heaven's Tower to talk to Kupipi, which is the tower here on the left with the orange hair. Or maybe it's red hair, it looks orange though. And then she'll give you a key item. I forget what it is. Um, if you're trying to find the Heaven's Tower, it's in the center of the Winter's Walls, and you enter from the south. There should be a crystal right before the bridge. So, that's how you find it. Also, I got a cipher of Sama's uh, Alter Ego. Apparently you get that if you have the Rhapsodies in white already. So anywho, um, we have to go to the next place, which I think is Balgas Diaz, but I'll find that out real quick. We made, made our way over here to uh, Gideas, which is in western Sarita Beruta, on the west side of it. So we have to make our way all the way down to this crystal that you can see blinking on the bottom. And that will be uh, Balgas Dias. So quite a quite a trek from the top here, but should only take a couple minutes to get there. All right, we are over here in uh, Balgas Dias. We are oops, accidentally clicked wrong button on that. We have to go and click on this burning circle and click the rank two final mission. So you have to fight a floating eye bat, bat looking thing I don't know what, don't know what it's called uh, searcher apparently is what it's called and you also have to fight a giant uh, black dragon maybe it's shadow dragon I don't know it looks like a black dragon but yeah black dragon I was right 
so we just have to kill these things real quick. They're pretty easy. The fight used to be level synced at 25, but now it's not level synced at all, I believe. So, this fight should only take a minute. I don't think I even need trust, but I'll just summon two of them. Just in case. As I am only level 56. I think if I was 99, I wouldn't even need a trust to just run in here and start punching stuff. So, if you do this at lower levels, like 30 or so, obviously you'd want trust. But, uh,. Another thing that you'd want is to take out the searcher first. Wow, yeah, that thing died pretty quickly. Take out the searcher first, so it'll make the fight easier. And then you just kill the black dragon. I forget why the searcher dying first would make it easier, but I remember there is a specific reason. Maybe just because it's super squishy. Anyway, that's the fight. And now we talk to this dude, or creature, I guess. I don't know if the searcher's a dude or not, but hey, it's Lion! She's just magically showing up everywhere. And then he tells about Shadow Lord returning, which is uh, what you find, I think, at rank 5 or rank 6. One of those missions. And we just teleport out here. And I think we have to go and turn this in in order to get the uh, mission completed. So I'll see you in a couple seconds once we get to there. Alright, we are back here to Malek again to get another cutscene. And then once we finish this cutscene, all we have to do is go talk to Naji, and that'll finish the mission for us. And then we should be rank 3. I think you also get an air, air pass from this, unless that's rank 4. But... We'll find that out once we go and talk to Naji again. On your way! Please hurry back to Vostok. Well, there's the uh, Kindred report. I'll see you in one second once we get back to Vostok. Here we are back at uh, Naji in the Metalworks. So you just talk to him, get a little cutscene again. And then once this is completed, you should be rank 3. I don't know how long this cutscene is, but we'll find out. Walk, 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 walk. It's cursed. Almost got, call him cursed. He's like, goodbye. Stay up the kindred. Nice. And then this guy, Lucius, talks to us. Hey, rank three! We got an adventurer's certificate. Not sure what that means. Anyway, we also got 3,000 gil, but most importantly, we're rank three now. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we will accept the next mission, which is uh, the Four Musketeers, which I think is where we have to go to Bado or however you want to pronounce it. Just the turtle outpost, or Kate Al outpost. And we have to do that mission there. Um, that'll be for our next video, as this video is already getting somewhat long. So, we are still level 56, but we are halfway through it. Next episode, uh, we will be getting to level 60 and finishing off the rank missions that we need in order to do our limit break and if if i can i'll squeeze in the limit break quest also next uh next episode depending on how long these rank missions take um but yeah if you're enjoying the episode um smack that like button hit the subscribe button and comment down below um anything that you like about about the uh episode and I shall see you in the next episode. Peace!